Sounds like the birds are training their kids again. Mm -hmm. These are my onions. I use the uh, green tops throughout the season. And then I use the red bulbs at the end of the seat. Well, I'm going to this year. I say it like I do it every year, right? This, no, this is how I'm going to start doing it. <clears throat> that way I can have my green tops and then have a host of uh, red onions to store for the winter. It won't hold me the whole winter probably, but I'll have a lot of red onions. At least as many as I buy in a huge shopping trip. Uh, this is Rose. She hasn't done much and the season's almost over for her. So I didn't get any flowers this year. The bread of my comes. Got food on food on food on food. On food. So there's the brick bed. I'm going to get some green tomatoes out here for my family. Uh, Mrs. Family wanted some, but after I gave it to them, I hadn't heard anything else. So I assumed that they didn't like it. Until they tell me otherwise. Meanwhile, these are my green beans flourishing in the middle. I don't see many more flowers though. I don't see more flowers. Just the ones that are here are going ahead and beefing up. I have to go replant another one of these, but I think this is a beet plant. And I'm not about that life. I'm just not. So I'm gonna end up pulling these, pulling this and putting some of my red leaf variety over here. Or herbs because I'll figure it out <clears throat> and I saw I noticed that the mustard greens really attract insects and I'm not about that life there's probably a hundred tomatoes on there right now 150 I'd say 150 there's my moringa it's so cute it is so overcast today and it looks like that we won't need to um, water, but it's a lie. Mother Nature be playing. She be playing games, man. Like, really. I'm going to put these back because this okra needs some sun, if you know, like I know. You can get multiple harvests up on them if you do them properly and not like I did. <laughs> and then maybe get a couple of... Uh, branches off my moringa. I didn't get much this year, but it's not over, but I'm just saying. Did y'all see that? Or did I just take for granted that you did? supposed to be black cherry tomatoes. I can harvest a few of these leaves. This is my callaloo. Um, can't wait till the side right branches get to popping because I'm just going to stick those in other spots in this garden. So these tomatoes that are ready now. <clears throat> these puppies right here are really, really sweet. Really, really sweet. I am just mad that they are not black like they were advertised to be. The lies that we are told. But honey, listen, they're so sweet. Look. My dust. Dust. Mm. Mm -mm. Y'all remind me to do my nails. Ooh. Harvest these. <laughs> she thirsty too. I'll spend it again next week. And then she'll have a bunch of two ready next week. See how they get all black on the side that the sun hits. So you can tell which side hits. Uh, 
I have my orange bells. I don't think, I don't feel like my red bells are going to um, give me fruit before the season ends because it's going to be August tomorrow. <laughs> but you know, whatever Mother Nature decides to get to deal with me, I'm, I'm grateful. And I am going to put this girl back up. I don't even see any more flowers on that, but I know it's got more coming. She's got it all there. She's doing well. Happy. Here's Nadia. She got a sister. I mean, well, here's Nadia. Put them in the pots like I've done here. And let them do this. I'll cut them down. I get a good harvest out of them. And then let all the side branches give me whole new harvests. And so let them build to the, just keep washing them to the end of the season. The end of the season, cut every scalp, everything back to the main, to one little stem. This is Cher, a little dusty cherry. You see how many? So when I didn't see it, I was like, what? That's what we're doing? I saw an animal for sure. And I don't know what animal likes unripe tomatoes they really barely like ripe tomatoes because they i know y'all know they'll come and take bites out of your tomatoes and leave them there i don't know what fruit they go ahead and eat the whole thing but to be fair if they ate the whole thing we wouldn't know because it would just be off the plant and eaten right right anyway this is the michael tom fruit everywhere hey ho that one wants to be ready by itself. This one had two ready before. Two ripened. And I ate them. I think I'll put another tomato steak in them because they weren't extremely sweet. Not that microtons are extremely sweet, to be honest. But they taste like tomato. You can use them in your tomato recipe. Salads included. So I can't say they're super sweet, but they definitely are very good and convenient little tomatoes and tasty as well and they're not tart 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 super tart except unless you pick them early which we all do when we get a little anxious green's bed and what's up oh shit did y'all hear that it was a hawk dive bombing something. It wasn't flying, it was it dive bombing. Let's see where they come up with something. But it would keep going forward, it wouldn't turn around. It wouldn't dive bomb, get it in there and turn around and come back with it. No? No. Okay, so my salad bed, right? Here are my collars. I know they're gonna recover as the temperatures drop, so I'm not really worried about them. Plus my method of okay spraying them clean of those cabbage moths is clearly working because this branch does not represent how effectively I'm still because y'all don't understand them hawks have been very comfortable here and also when like bunches of birds at a time act kind of erratic. Almost kind of like when we first came out, remember? And I was like, oh, that must be kid, uh, baby training back there. So anyway, see I left Spider-Man where he was. I don't play around. Yeah, so what I was saying about these mustard greens, they seem to attract uh, some kind of bugs, look. Oh, they don't look that bad. But you can't tell with these, uh, these, these leaves are eating up. That's not how the leaves, the leaves are rounded on the end. See, look. These are just eating up. This one, oh, that's a good sample. See? And it got a cabbage worm on it. I'm gonna let that bitch stay there too because that's the only one they is attacking. Uh, I'm also going to plant some separate seeds again. I need to start them right now while I'm playing games and chilling like I got all day. Um, that's another red, uh, red bill. 
I didn't figure out a place to put it. Might not keep it still. Uh, this is uh, Patty's little sister. It's late in the season, so she's nervous. She doesn't know if she should go ahead and do anything or not. Because, like I said, tomorrow's August. But she does have some fruit down here. So, she's going to spit out a couple of little thing things. Pimento, pepper. I look forward to getting seeds from that. Oh, word. That is my cucumber flowering in a starter pot. It's not even in this pot right here, y'all. It's one of these little starter pot, pots inside of there. <laughs> so that cucumber said, nope, it's my season. And that's how I feel about it because I started this cucumber at a time where it was warm enough for it to thrive, be great, and give me cucumbers. And when everybody else was harvesting cucumbers. So this year for me with cucumbers, like last year was for me with tomatoes and a number of other things. Everybody was harvesting before me and I was feeling some type of way. Same thing with the cucumbers. But I kind of feel vindicated with the cucumbers because I know that my powdery mildew is going to set in later than everybody else as a result of this lace fire. So I'm okay with that. That means I'm going to get cucumbers that much longer as well. I've been waiting on this to grow out so I could leave this. Uh, yeah, leave that back inside. Uh -uh. What you doing? Mm -mm. See, I fuck around and know what a hog sound like now. <laughs> I don't know what a hog sound like. It's fucking with me. So I'm gonna pull this back in. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to keep all the leaders on this side of the trellis. Uh, some of them are gonna go in there, but I'll just let them grow, 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 grow. And when they get long enough to pull back in through one of these holes, I'll do this, that. Like I just did here. And if I want to, I can just lean back here to see if there's anything protruding along the outside so when i actually put this in here you guys know so i can see if i can avoid it uh feel of uh, it feeling the need to reach back into the uh evergreens it'll probably still try it but you know the viola here um another moringa and this is this microtome came out exactly like i trained them hanging plants for them to hang over with my little mini watering can I fill these with water like I have holes in the top fill them with water if you know what they are you know be curious because it sounds it looks like an interesting idea ask me I'll let you know what it is and then I'll drill four holes in it fill it with water turn it upside down and let the water slow roll into the planter and Obviously, you can do that with any number of containers. Uh, here's my sweet mint. I'm going to harvest that and take it inside because my intent was to see if I could get that mint to do well indoors because out here it seemed to attract insects, whereas my OG mint does not. Um, there is a scaredy cat. I'm going to chop that down way low and I may leave it outside to see if it overwinters. My tiny Tim, there is a little fruit down there that's almost ready already. So those are, that one is ready and the, I see a lot of the other ones blushing. So I'm guessing this is probably a determinate plant. My um, patio is apparently also a determinate plant. So I'm glad that I went ahead and started her sister. I'm glad I put those two in the raised bed and I'm glad that the two in the raised bed got as bushy as they did. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, water everything because this forecastness is not gonna fool me. We are clearly, uh, we're apparently being teased and I'm not going for the okie doke because I want the best produce that I can get out of my garden. <laughs> I need to feed everything again, don't I? 
I don't know. Maybe I can just get away with just chopping and dropping my some of my green beans. Oh, I meant to ask you guys. Do tomato fan leaves work as effectively as as bean plant matter for refixing nitrogen into uh, soil? Answer that question. Because I know everyone says, you know, beans refix nitrogen into the soil, blah, 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 blah. Do tomato fan leaves do the same thing? You know, when we um, prune our tomatoes back. Oh, I also need to harvest these because if you know like I know, in order to get the biggest leaves for your uh, greens, you, 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 you have to take advantage of the cut and come process, cut and come again process. You have to. So which is why I just reminded myself you need to harvest these leaves because harvesting these leaves will make them bigger because that's why they're this size. When I was first uh, getting these, they were so teeny. But for me to harvest leaves, whether I need them or not, it creates bigger leaves coming up. Same thing with the mixed greens. I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. And actually, like the the the, uh, the fucked up leaf that I just took off of here, that's actually gonna make these more voluptuous. Let's see if I have I neglected anything in here. My flowers are not making it because that's what they do. When I first get flowers, I can get them to last a really, really long time. But as far as freshening the water and cutting cutting the ends again, that's a wrap. If I try that shit again, it ain't gonna work out. Uh, here's that scaredy cat that I showed you outside. Remember I told you I was gonna chop it down? This is how low I'm gonna chop it down to. <laughs> I ain't scared, I ain't even scared. Oh, this is Buddy. He is over it. He is over it. But I dug up the uh, root ball and it looked really, really good. So I'm fucked. I'm clusterfucked as to what's going on with him. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Here's Ginger, and then her little boys. These came with um, uh, these came with the roses, and um, I knew that they were gonna last longer than the roses, so I put them over here in a separate separate vase and I put them with guess what peppermint so y'all see me pretty much using peppermint to keep of all of all plants that I keep inside and in water I use a sprig I use a stem of peppermint to keep that water not stinking <laughs> not stinking oh uh, you need a you probably I don't feel like it need no water though but that's ginger oh word Yo, the clouds just broke, y'all. Oh, okay. Lies. Mmm. Oh, she look good. This two weeks later after I scalped my basil. That's looking good, honey. My uh, oregano is not. It's struggling. And my viola that was in front and back are struggling. And it shouldn't be. Because I have so many sprigs to replace them with. As a matter of fact, I'm going to replace them right now as well while I do all this other stuff that I claim I was going to do and still have it. Take me out.